Hello you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Steve and welcome back. I've been browsing through some older threads in the Super Mario Maker Reddit lately and I stumbled across a couple of lesser known Mario Maker mechanics which I never heard of before. So today we're going to take a closer look on some ideas featuring these really cool and underused mechanics. You ready? Let's do this! For our first idea, Mario has to make his way through this little ghost house. Mario is used to ghost houses by now, but this one seems special. There are no enemies here, just delicious mushrooms and delicate fire flowers. What's going on here? Bowser's definitely planning something evil. Once Mario leaves this pipe, a skeleton roller coaster becomes triggered. That's because of a small but interesting mechanic. If Mario leaves a pipe while being big, he triggers skeleton roller coasters. Hmm. Looks like Mario can't proceed here. Luckily the exit pipe warps him back to the beginning of the stage as there are two pipes overlapping each other here. But how should Mario beat this stage? Hmm. Oh, of course, it has something to do with the yum yum power-ups. Mario probably has to avoid them altogether instead of eating them. Bowser is testing his food resistance. This time Mario reaches the exit pipe without swallowing anything. But does this help? It does, because in the SMB3 and the SMB style, small Mario doesn't trigger skeleton roller coasters while he leaves pipes. For our next idea, Mario has to carry a bob arm to the end of the stage. This would usually be an impossible mission for a plumber if it wasn't for a small little trick. Bob arm timers reset whenever Mario goes through a door. We use this here to create a short dash level for Mario, but this mechanic can definitely be used for puzzle levels as well. Once Mario carried the poor Bob Omp to the end of the stage, all he needs to do is to wait for it to explode and stack these two springs on top of each other in order to escape. In this idea, we have a shell mat dispenser at the beginning of the stage. Mario has to wall jump through this difficult section while wearing his special hat. Thanks to the shell mat, he's able to jump into the deadly spike swans, even though this means he loses his stylish headgear. At the end of this difficult section is a warp pipe. Sadly for Mario, this pipe is unpassable for him, as there are two blocks blocking the exit. Luckily for Mario, blocks not only get destroyed if he jumps towards them while wearing a shell mat, but if he leaves a pipe with this very special hat as well. Sadly for Mario, this means that he has to make his way through this difficult wall jump section without taking any damage. But if he takes a deep breath and concentrates, he should be able to do so. Now the two blocks become destroyed and Mario is finally able to reach the exit pipe. Interestingly, this only works with shell mats and big Mario isn't able to destroy brick blocks if he leaves the pipe. Let's take a quick look on some smaller tricks. Here Mario really wants to collect these coins, but he has no idea how to reach them. This semi-solid platform is exactly one block too high for Mario to jump on. But luckily there is a small trick in the new Super Mario Bros style. If Mario performs a ground pound, he gains a little bit of additional height, allowing him to reach these shiny coins. This is actually really useful if you're playing a lot of 100 Mario challenge, as it allows a lot of levels to be cheated. Here we have another small but really useful mechanic. It's actually possible to place stackable items in between the grid while creating a level and it's super simple as well. All you need to do is to grab yourself the item you want to stack, a big enemy and one of these hacker lava bubbles. Put the big entity on the bottom, stack the small one on top as much as you desire and then replace the big enemy with a lava bubble. If you want to stack big enemies, all you need to do is to replace the big lava bubble and big enemy with small ones. Alright, and now it's time for a little Mario Maker magic trick. Mario is in this little room at the end of a ghost house. The exit is sadly blocked. All he has to work with here is this little spring. 
Sadly, the spring is the wrong item to beat this stage. He either needs a mushroom or a power block and a spring if he wants to overcome the magical block barrier, blocking the exit sign. And although the exit is to his right, Mario never left the stage before without touching the exit sign. And he definitely won't start with such shenanigans right now. But Mario doesn't need to leave the room without touching the sign anyways, as he remembers a small little trick someone showed him long time ago. A little trick, which transforms the spring into a power block. But that's not all, as a power block can be transformed into a P-switch, if Mario remembers this correctly. Hooray! Now, Mario only needs to get a power block and he's finally able to touch this important sign. The best way to get a power block is probably to create one out of the air. Now, our plumber conjured everything he needs to beat this stage. Okay, so how does this work? It's actually surprisingly simple. The camera stops to move in auto-scrolling levels if Mario reaches the end of the stage, but the areas out of sight are still there and Mario is able to interact with them, but he can't go there anymore. All that's hidden out of sight here are simple item swappers, as our plumber is still able to place and grab items outside of the camera. Huge shout out to Mario Maker creator Pink Birdo, as I learned the trick in one of his amazing levels and you should definitely play this stage. You can find the ID in the description. Alright, so here we have another small but really useful trick. We have two pipes in this room. Mario isn't able to go through the pipe to his left currently, but the pipe to the right works as expected. But the left pipe isn't broken as he's able to leave this one without any troubles. Things become really interesting if Mario grabs this mushroom here, because then the pipe, which was passable before, becomes blocked, but the other one opens up. This is thanks to a neat little trick. If you put a conveyor belt behind a pipe one block in the air, only small Mario can pass it. But if you hide a conveyor belt behind a pipe on the ground, only big Mario can go through. Here we have a really weird but really cool trick as well. Mario finds himself locked inside this room together with Bowser Jr. There's currently no way to escape, but maybe triggering this P-switch helps. Well, it kinda helps. Mario becomes trapped here as two enormous power block walls drop onto the ground. But if he survives until the P-switch expires, he's now able to leave this room. There were coins hidden beneath the power blocks and the bullet blaster. Triggering a P-switch transforms the coins into bricks and pushes them to the left. It's possible to create some interesting levels with this concept alone, but there is even more to it. Here Mario can reach the P-switch or the exit door, but there is still a way to trigger this P-switch, because jumping towards these springs activates an invisible block and forces the items to drop to the left. But once Mario triggered the P-switch, a shell launcher becomes activated, thanks to the same concept and Mario needs to reach the exit before the shell reaches the power block. It's possible to create a lot of interesting things with this little trick. If you know any other cool little Mario Maker tricks, which aren't common knowledge, feel free to leave me a comment. I was kinda surprised how many tricks existed in this game which I never heard of before. Also huge shout out to the great, awesome and amazing Super Mario Maker Reddit community for collecting a lot of these little tricks and being awesome in general. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed this little video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially known today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye!